Okay, so this is part one of your Forces and Motion Fit booklet. These are the notes that we're going to use to talk about um, force and motion for this unit. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to talk about, um, it says define force. So I want you to just think about things that you know force is, um, and let's write down some words. So can anybody think of any, when you think of the word force, what are words that you think of? You think of the word force. Carlos, what you think of? Gravity. Gravity, okay. What else do you think of? When you force something, what do you do? What? You pull? Is that what you said? Okay, so pull. What else do we think of? When I force you to do something, what am I making? What, what's, what's happening? If I force you, if I force you out the door, I'm pushing, making something happen, okay, so those are things that we think of when we think of the word force, so let's um, go through our packet, and at the very end, we're going to come back, and we're going to think about our definition, and see if it's changed any, okay, all right, so the very first part says click on the link and copy and paste. So we've already got our force in motion, and we're going to run the force in motion program. So we're going to work with net force first. So on our net force, this is the tug of war, um, and we're going to make our pitcher look like the pitcher below. So it takes the two larger little men and you put them on the very end on the either side and then it says um what does the brown arrow represent so what air what does this arrow right here represent what do you think it's going to represent what Okay, so how much tension it is, how much one is going to pull and the other one's going to pull. So on your FET simulation, these guys on either end are pulling with the same amount of force. Now, if I put like this really small guy here and this really small guy right here, it's still going to be the same, right? It's still balanced because they each have the same amount of force or pull. So my arrows, are they equal right now? Yes, so if I put my sum of forces up right there, they're going to be equal. So the brown arrows represent amount of force. So they represent the amount of force. All right, on page two, number five says, is one arrow larger than the other in this scenario? So, is one arrow larger than the other? No, they're the same size. No. They're the same size. Are they pointing in the same direction or different directions? They are pointing in different directions. Okay, so then on number seven, it says, go to the menu screen and click the title value. So right there is where it says values. So we have 150 N. Remember that N, can anybody remember what that N stands for? Newtons. So Newtons, and we're going to write this down, N equals Newtons. And that's the unit for forces. So what happened when we clicked on the word values and we got that 150 Newton pulls up? What does, it just says, describe what happened when you click the box. So what happened? So when we clicked values, it told us the amount of force that these guys are pulling with. That's what happened. So this blue guy right here, he's pulling with 150 newtons. This red guy right here, he's pulling with 150 newtons. So over here, when it says describe what happened when you click the box, it tells us 
how much force is being used. Okay, so does that make sense so far? So just briefly, you know, it doesn't tell us to in the book, but I'm just going to show you. If I put this little guy right here, look, he's able to pull more and it added more force. Do you see that? So that tells us that this blue guy here is pulling with 150 newtons and this red guy is also pulling with 150 newtons because they're going to be the exact same size and they're the exact same distance from the jar or the, the container. So number eight says, what is the value of the left force? Well, that would be right here. So what's the value of the left force? 150 newtons. And what's the value of the right force? 150 newtons. All right, so number nine says, click on the green go button and write down what you observe in the space in the picture, all right? What happened? Nothing. Nothing happened, so I'm going to pause it. So nothing happened. Did the little container move? Did the cart move? Did it move? No. The cart did not move. All right, number 10 says click on the return button. Okay, so I'm going to click this return button. And move the blue figure so that is positioned closer to the cart. All right, so I'm going to move him. One right there. Leave the red figure at the end of the rope. Did moving the figure cause a change in any of the forces acting towards the left? No, it did not. So the answer is no. There was no change in the forces. Number 11 says click the box sum of forces. Okay, so we've still got sum of forces right here. We've got it right there. What are the sum of the forces acting on the car? Okay, I need you to remember, sum of forces, I mean, they're going to add together, but these are opposite. These are going in opposite directions. So if we're adding them together, but they're going in opposite directions, the sum is zero. Now, if I added this blue guy over here, well, it's not going to let me. But if I had this blue guy over here and they were both pulling in the same direction and they added together, what would my sum of forces be? It would be 300 because they're working together. But if they're working differently, then it's going to be the opposite. So my sum of forces are zero. So this number 11 says, what are the sum of the forces acting on the car? So the sum of forces are zero. Okay, so that's page two. Let's move to page three. On page three, number 12, it says, Now add another blue figure to the left side of the cart. So let's take one of these little guys and add him right here. All right. How did the addition of another blue figure affect the size of the left force acting on the cart? What amount of the force on the blue side now? What is the sum of the forces acting on the cart? All right, so what happened when we added this little guy? It added more force, right? So, um, adding... Another guy added, how much more force did it add? Added 50 newtons in which direction? Towards the blue guys, right? So it towards the left. Added 50 newtons towards the left. All right, so what does that mean when we're talking about total force? If I have two people that are the exact same and I am pulling the same amount, or my sum of forces was zero, but then I added another person that pulled 50 newtons, 
What happened to my sum of forces? Who's going to make the cart move more? The blue guys, right? Because they're pulling with 200 newtons, and the red guy's only pulling with 50 newtons. All right, so... Number 13 says, describe with your lab partner why you think subtraction was used to calculate the sum of the forces in the example we've seen so far. Record your explanation here. So we just talked about that. So they're working in opposite directions, so they cancel each other out. So that's the answer to number 13. So because they work in opposite directions. They cancel each other out, which equals subtraction, right? If you're canceling something out, you're subtracting. If you're adding it together, you're using addition. Then on 14 says, make a prediction about what will happen when you click the green go. So what do you think is going to happen when we click this green go? The cart's going to move to the left. All right, so let's see. Yes, so it starts moving to the left side. Did it move super fast? Like just shoot, there it goes. No. Why do you think that it didn't move super fast? Yeah, so the guy on the right is still pulling, and the only difference is this one little bitty guy. But what if we had, like, all these guys right here? You think it's going to move more or less than what's happening right now? It's probably going to move more. All right, so, so what I want you to do, we're going to answer 14, and then I'm going to pause the video. So 14 says, click the go button and describe what you observe. Did your observation match your initial prediction? Did the cart move in the direction of the greater force? All right, so did the cart move in the direction of the greater force? Yes. So the cart moved in the direction of the blue guys because they had a greater force. Okay, so what I want you to do now is I want you to fill in the table and complete the simulation on page three, and then I want you to go answer the answers on page four, and that's where we're going to stop for today, okay?